All right, so here's a quick vid for uh, everybody out there who uh, is wondering uh, what kind of differential you got, either uh, open or limited slip. So if you're wondering about that, there are a couple of ways to check. Uh, the first one is if you have a if you have a BMW differential, is to check this metal tab here, um, because you, BMW used to grab to to carve sorry an S, uh, which stands for spur which I guess means limited in German so there, there was an S uh, along with the uh, gear ratio in this case it's a 4.27 which is very rare I'm going to try to show it to you I don't know if you'll see well, you can't see this on the vid uh, so that's one way to check but just don't just rely on that because it's very easy to take off you know just remove the bolts and uh, replace it with another tab that's that has an S on it and you can fool anyone into thinking that, they, that they're buying a, an LSD. Um, another way to do this is to... Can you, can you be able to see now? Is to turn one flange on one side and try to keep the other from moving. Okay, so you can't see this here, but I'm turning the other one on the other side. And I'm just not strong enough to keep this one, the left one, from moving. So I have an LSD because the the uh, the locking unit locks up, and both axles are turning. So that you know that's pretty much by turning the other one, it's like it's like the one on the right was on grass, and this one was on tarmac, so it had more grip because I'm retaining it. And uh, with an open diff. All the power would go to the uh, right wheel, so the one in the grass would just spin away, and you wouldn't make forward progress. Uh, but with a limited slip, the one on tarmac still gets power, so you can get moving. So that's one way to check. Another, uh, another one is is to simply turn a flange and see if the other one turns the same way, which is the case here. Uh, this is true for both forward and reverse gears. But that's, uh, um, that's not always true because uh, I tested an open dip the other day and, uh, and the other flange was turning the, turning the same way. But most of the times uh, open dips will either stay motionless or, uh, or the other one will spin the other way. So that's... Uh, that's an LSD for sure. And finally, that's only true for BMW LSDs. I don't know about the rest of them out there. But for BMW LSDs, you can flip it on its side and check that there's an S, S stamped on the bottom, either on the bottom or on the top. But that's uh, that's the only way to check. Well, that's, that's uh, a very 